Yo, what's up? This is Giorgio Martini from Noise is King, and in this video, we're going to show you how to create a kick ass kick with Ableton Live's operator. So, let's take a look at what are the building blocks of an electronic kick or a synthesized kick. Basically, it's a sine wave like this, or some waveform really similar to a sine wave like this one. It has a nice volume decay over time, like this. And it also has a pitch bending at the beginning of the sound, like this. It can also have some noise or noisy type of sound at the beginning to give it some harmonic content in the mid and high frequencies, like this. And that's basically it. Afterwards, we can add some EQing to make it more punchy and also add some distortion or saturation. But that's basically it. All right, so let's create our very own kick in Ableton Live's operator. So let's drag an operator to a MIDI track and let's rename it something like kick. We create a new clip by double clicking on an empty slot. And we create a basic techno beat. Let's see how that sounds. Nice. Now let's make the operator be sensitive to volume so that when a note is pressed softer, the sound is more quiet, and if it's pressed harder, the sound is louder, like in real life. So we go to this area, which is called the global shell, and we map the velocity parameter to the volume, and we set the amount to 100%. Now, if we add a note with a low velocity, the operator will sound more quiet. Now, you will notice that the sound will keep playing as long as the note is played. So, let's change this behavior, so that as soon as we press a note, the amplitude envelope is triggered. For this, we go to the oscillator we want to edit, and we change the loop mode from None to Trigger. We're also going to change the actual envelope to something more natural. So we turn the sustain all the way down and we increase the decay a bit more. Let's see how this sounds now. Let's keep the notes like they were before. Of course, this is way too high, so let's move all the notes to C1 for now. We can select all notes by clicking on the C note in the piano roll and then we press Shift and down arrow. This moved all the notes one octave lower. Let's do it one more time. Now we are in C1. Let's see how that sounds now. Nice. Now, one simple way to add a click is to shift the face of the waveform. So instead of the waveform starting here in the middle, we shift its face and this way it creates a click. Let's see how that sounds. At 25% is where we get the maximum click. If we go higher, the click starts to decrease. So let's leave it at 25. Now let's add this pitch bending at the beginning to make it punchier. For that, we enable the pitch envelope and we turn the pitch envelope amount to the max. Let's hear that. Let's increase the pitch envelope initial and peak values to 24 semitones. And set the loop mode to trigger. Now we adjust the decay of the pitch envelope. A value between 100 milliseconds and 300 milliseconds is good for most situations. Let's see how that sounds. Now we can add even more harmonic content at the beginning with FM synthesis. If I start increasing the oscillator B level, you will hear how the whole sound is being modulated. And of course this is not what we want. But we can adjust the envelope of oscillator B so that it only affects oscillator A at the very beginning. This will create an interesting click at the beginning. 
So let's turn the sustain all the way down, set the loop mode to trigger, and decrease the decay to around 50 or 30 milliseconds. Nice. We can add even more mid and high frequencies by adding some noise. So let's change the algorithm from this one, which is just one lane of sound, to this one, which gives us two lanes of sound. Now with oscillator C, we can add some noise. So let's turn its volume up, change its source of sound from sine to noise, and adjust its envelope like we've done before. So trigger, sustain all the way down, and now let's play and see which settings are good. Okay, so this sounds good to me. And of course, like this is an operator preset, we can easily change the note of the kick. Right now, it is in C. But if our track is in, let's say, F sharp, we can move the notes to F sharp. And now our kick would be in tune. So basically now we're done with our kick in the operator. Now we can add some EQing to make it punchier. And of course EQing depends on your song and on your mix. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use a preset that is called kick two. Let's see how that sounds. Much better, right? We can also add now some distortion and saturation, but you gotta be careful with distortion and saturation because sometimes saturation or distortion can actually kill your bass frequencies. So let's add a saturator and let's play with the drive amount. We can also change the curve type until we find something that we like. Talking about distortion, the operator has some built-in distortion modes. If we go to the filter section and select one of the new filters added in Live9, we can add a filter drive. And we also got some shapers and the amount of the shaper drive here. Let's check how these sound. Lastly, we can group all of it together by selecting the operator, the EQ and the saturator and pressing Command D on the Mac or Control D on Windows. Now we could map interesting parameters such as time, the noise or the FM click to have quick access to them. So let's do that. We click on the macro button over here, then we press map. We select for example the time parameter and then the macro that we want to map it to. Next up, we click on the FM click, which is oscillator B level, and then we press the second macro. And lastly, we can also map the oscillator C, which is the noise, to macro 3. We then press the map button to go out of mapping mode. And we can reset the value of time by selecting it and pressing backspace. Now we have quick access to these parameters. And we're done. So now you can tweak, adjust and modify all these parameters to create your very own kick. How cool is that? I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't and see you next time. Peace.